dear students of class 12th subject business studies our today's topic is planning process as you are aware that planning is deciding in advance what is to be done or what to do and how to do is a process of decision making there are certain logical steps for every manager to follow planning process contains following steps first step is setting objective second is developing planning premises third is identifying alternative course of action fourth is evaluating alternative course of action the fifth step is selecting the best one alternative the sixth step is implementing the plan and the last step is follow up action now we will discuss them one by one set setting objectives the first step in the planning process it is the primary step in the process of planning which specifies the objectives of the organization that is what an organization wants to achieve the planning process begins with the setting of objective objectives are end results which the management wants to achieve by its operation objectives are specific and are measurable in terms of units objectives are set for the organization as a whole for all departments and then departments set their own objectives within the framework of organizational objectives the second step in the planning process is developing planning premises planning is essentially focused on the future and there are certain events which are expected to affect the policy formation such events are external in nature and the effect they affect planning adversely if ignored their understanding and peer assessment are necessary for effective planning such events are the assumptions on the basis of which plans are drawn and are known as planning premises the next step in the planning process is identifying alternative course of action once the objectives are set assumptions are made then the next step is to act upon them there may be many ways to act and achieve the objective all the alternative course of actions should be identified next step after identifying the objectives the next step is evaluating alternative course of action in this step the positive and negative aspects of each alternative need to be evaluated in the light of objectives to be achieved every alternative is evaluated in terms of lower cost lower risks and higher return within the planning premises and within the availability of capital or we can say resources the next step is selecting the selecting the best one alternative the best alternative out of different alternatives is selected the best plan which is the most profitable plan and with the minimum negative effects is adopted and implemented in such cases the manager's experience and judgment plays an important role in selecting the best alternative 
The next step in the planning process is implementing the plan. This is the step where other managerial functions come into the picture. This step is concerned with doing what is required. In this step, managers communicate the plan to the employees clearly to convert the plans into action. This step involves allocating the resources, organizing for labor and purchase of machinery. The last step in the planning process is follow-up action. Monitoring the plan constantly and taking feedback at regular intervals is called follow-up. Monitoring of plans is very important to ensure that the plans are being implemented according to the schedule. Regular checks and comparisons of the results with set standards are done to ensure that objectives are achieved. That's all for today. Goodbye.